What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, and I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I've been trying to hit you guys with a couple of videos a week. For that, I'm truly sorry. I really apologize to you guys. The reason why is because I've been up north getting together another studio that I have, making sure that everything is good for the clients that we have coming through there. So just bear with me, but I'm gonna get back on this content and I'm gonna start delivering you guys videos really frequently. Before we get into the video today, you know how we do. I just wanna shout out some of the new subscribers that have clicked that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Popping up on the screen right now, you'll see these guys. I really appreciate your support. If you see your name mentioned, by all means, hit me up with a shout out in the comments below. If you have not done so yet, you might wanna click that subscribe button and also click that bell notification. That way you can stay up to date with this content that I'm gonna be bringing you guys. Speaking of content, I got a hot video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be on the spot, making another beat live in the studio. Today I'm gonna to be going for kinda of like a grimy type beat. I've been listening to a lot of trance, a lot of EDM music, and I really, really like some of the sounds that they use in those beats. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and take some of those sounds and I'm gonna try and make a nice hip hop beat using those trance and those EDM sounds. So hopefully we can come out with something nice. I want the beat to come out real grimy, real gritty, maybe a club style beat, something really, really energetic. So hopefully we can get that done. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the NPC software and get it rocking. Let's do it. All right, my people, we are live inside the NPC software once again. Um, we're gonna kind of see if we can get a little track going. I found this nice little sound here. Kind of like a nice dirty bass sound, but I want to keep it up tempo, you know, so I'm gonna keep the tempo at about 160, 165, something like that. So that's how we go rock. Hopefully we can get something going. Let's do it. Before I get too deep in the beat, I want to drop like a little texture sound behind it, you know, something to kind of to kind of fill in um, a little bit of the gaps that's going to be there in the beat. But fortunately, I found this nice little sound here. Let's do that. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the 80 win on the track that I know in this type of track is kind of gonna give me my feel for, for what I wanna do next. So this is the 808 that I have. I want the 808 to be real punchy. I want it to shine in this track. I want it to kind of carry the whole entire track. So let's do it. I got a few percussion instruments that I'm gonna drop really, really quickly before we get to the main drums. So I have a hi-hat, I have a uh, lower hi-hat, and then I have kind of like another perk sound. Sometimes I like to play off like three different kind of hi-hat sounds, that way I can kind of kind of get a nice little rhythm going. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can drop a few of these hi-hats in here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if we can drop the uh, the um, the uh, mid high head in there. Now we're gonna 
use this high and high had this tick sound. We're gonna kind of use that to just sprinkle in between those those gaps. You know, that way we can kind of get a nice little rhythm going with it. Let's do it. out nice maybe I might go into I'm gonna go in a program edit I'm gonna choose that hi-hat and then I'm gonna drop just the the uh, semitones of it maybe it might give it a different texture let's just listen and see I'm gonna drop it a few semitones see if it does something Yes, I like that. I dropped it 13 semitones all the way down. This is what it sounds like before. This is what the hi-hat sounds like before. Dropped it 13 semitones all the way down. Yeah, I like that. Now I want to lay down some backup chords um, just to kind of back up the beat, you know, so I found this nice little piano synth. Let's just rock with it and see what we can do. So I ended up changing the instrument, as I said. I kind of knew I would already. I changed this from the piano chords to a lead sound. Now this lead sound, it's on uh, mono, so you only get to play one sound at a time. It's not gonna play chords. So I took the chords out, and I kind of followed just the melody pattern with just the lead. So I'm gonna let you hear how that sounds. I'm gonna solo it and let you just hear how it sounds on its own. Check it out. So I'm going to play it in the context of the mix and let you hear how it sounds. Nice sound. So now just to back up the beat, I'm going to put the chords back in with this instrument. This is kind of like a stab, you know, so that way it'll brighten up the beat just a little bit, you know, so let's do it. out nice I use this nice little plug in here it's called a transient helper and what it does is it jumps on those those initial uh, transient sounds when the waveform gets big soon as it spikes it jumps on that and you can kind of shape it how you want with this high pass and low pass filter so I put a high pass on it to kind of give it a sharp sound and then I, I amped up the transient to about 46 when you hit this button here and you want to hear the difference of it let me solo it, and you can just hear what it's doing to the sound. You won't hear the sound itself, you'll just hear what it's doing, so check it out. So just that jump, once you hit uh, effect, now it's gonna blend that in with the, uh, the actual sound itself. So it's gonna kinda give it a little bit of a jump, it gives it a little bit of an amp.
transient shapers are just kind of brightening type plugins, you know, to where if you want to just kind of amp up the initial attack on a sound to amp up that first jump, you can put a transient help on and either boost it or you can take it off if you'd like. You can kind of lower it down, use the low pass filter if you want to kind of dull it down if a sound is too bright when it jumps in. So let's play it in the context of the mix again. That's going to conclude the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys rocking with me. The beat came out really nice. I wanted to get that grimy feel, and I think we pulled that off. We still kept a lot of melodic content in it. The 808 is really nice. Everything is catchy in the beat. I really like how this one came out. If you guys are rocking with the beat and you're feeling the vibe, please hit that thumbs up button, and also drop me a comment below. That way I can get you guys feedback on what you think about the beat. I'm thinking about dropping a mixing tutorial video on this particular beat. The mix came out very nice, and I'm really thinking about showing you guys exactly what I did to it to get it that way. So leave me a comment in the video description if you're interested in seeing the tutorial on how I mix these beats. I got a lot more content coming to you guys. I got a few sample pack reviews that are on the way. We're gonna make some tight beats out of them. I also have a few beat breakdown videos that will be coming. That way I can take you guys through the MPC software track by track and show you how I compose the beats that I make. So again, be on the lookout for that guys. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys are following my Instagram at the Drink King and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. You don't want to miss the content that I drop in between these videos. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Purple World.